In 1896, the French physicist Henri Becquerel was experimenting with rocks containing uranium. He was interested in the way they glowed in sunlight, but didn't when it was cloudy, an effect called fluorescence. Crookes tubes, see lesson two, had just been discovered to give off X-rays if you used a high enough voltage. And Becquerel wanted to know whether uranium rocks gave off X-rays when they fluoresced. Scientists knew that X-rays fogged film. He covered some unexposed film with a lightproof lid, placed a thin metal shape on top of the lid and the uranium on top of that. He left it for a while and when he developed the film, he found that it had been fogged. The outline of the metal shape showed that whatever was fogging the film couldn't go through metal. This was pretty good evidence that X-rays were also given off when the uranium was fluorescing. When he came to repeat the experiment, the day was cloudy, so there was no fluorescence. So he set the experiment up, put it in a drawer, and waited for it to get sunny again. After a day or so, there was still no sun, so he decided to develop the film anyway. Surprisingly, the film was fogged just as much as before. After more experiments, Becquerel concluded that uranium gave off strange new rays all the time, whether it was fluorescing or not. Becquerel called them uranium rays, but we now know they were a type of nuclear radiation made up of little particles.